Hello and welcome to the Narc Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello my lovely lurts, and welcome back to the Narc Alert. Well, it's Friday once again. Time to sit back, relax, and let's have a giggle. In Amber's latest video, she talked to us about how difficult her year 2019 was. So I thought it might be fun to just take a look back and do a little compilation of Amber's highlight reel from 2019. Let's go. Hi guys, so this is a weigh-in. Highly requested. It's not a live weigh-in because I already weighed myself <laughs> before this was highly requested. But my next weigh-in will be live. But uh, posting this, I'm ashamed, nervous, but I'm also very hopeful. January 2019 at 560 pounds. I'm doing a front shot, both sides, and a back shot. I want to use this to motivate me, to motivate others, and I am very embarrassed posting this, but I know I need to because I want to be able to come back on here and see changes. I will be posting them monthly. I want to wear the same exact outfit so I can get a better reading. And I also walk forward and I walk backwards <laughs> just to get an idea of where I'm at. So that was my weigh-in for you guys. That is what I weighed at the beginning of this year. So one week into January, Amber was excited to share her weight loss plan for the year with us. So a very popular question that I am getting is how am I going to be losing weight this year? What am I going to be doing? So we're just going to be kid. <laughs> so we're just going to be keeping it super simple and I'm going to be kind of going at this whole weight loss thing in phases. So we are currently on phase one, which is going to consist of 2000 calories a day which I will be logging on my fitness pal. And if you guys want to, you can add me on there. The link is down below. So you just click it, create a profile, add me girls or boys. In phase one, I'm going to be moving more. I want to teach myself to get up and stop sitting in bed all day because I went through a very big funk where that is what I did, but no longer. I'm going to be drinking lots of water. I'm gonna keep my mind frame very, very positive. That's very important. And I need to keep reminding myself not to give up and that if I trust the process and keep up with consistency, I will lose weight and I will be successful. So for phase two, we ain't even worrying about that right now. We're just focusing on this and that is how I plan on losing weight. Mm. Hey guys, so I am so excited to talk to you about what's about to go down. This is not clickbait in the slightest. Things are about to change and they're about to change for the better. Because I'm actually so excited that I, like, I could barely sleep. Like, I'm so excited. I was shaky. I was just like, oh my god, your girl is going to do this. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> da, da, da. you guys ready for it? There is a program called Octavia that thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people do. I'm going to box all this with you guys. So, I have my box here. Uh, it's a big one. You can't even you can't even see it, and it's really heavy. So first thing I have is the dining out guide. Order healthy and think healthy. Two thousand years later. I'm not really the biggest fan on stuff like this, so this is probably something I'll have right when I wake. Spring has sprung. Our girl has a new plan for a new her. The octopus diet was here to save the day. Hey guys, okay, so I have a mukbang. So, let's do this thing. Hey guys, so welcome to my new video. It is nighttime right now, and I am vlogging from my phone. I have decided it's just easier. Like, this has been, 
actually a lot of YouTubers are just like saying vlogging is easier on a cell phone. Oh my god, I really do look like an absolutely insane person. Uh, <laughs> like Trisha Paytas vlogs from her um, cell phone now. And you are just like Trisha. Gabby always has. Oh, love Gabby. It's time to start working out. I'm actually going to be getting two of these three pound weights so I can start doing just some arm exercises because I definitely need to. Okay, so since this is my first day of doing this whole arm situation, I'm not going to like give myself a certain amount of reps that I want to do. Instead, I'm going to see like what I can do first. Say I can do... 13 arm ups before I'm done for. Um, that means the next day, you know, aim for 13 again or possibly 14. Same when it goes for hunches. So by an arm up, I mean, <laughs> embarrass. An arm up, I'm just talking, doing that. Punch, you know. I'm just trying to keep it like simple for now and then eventually. Hey guys, okay, so we have another mukbang. We are going to eat shrimp with cocktail sauce. <gasps> okay, so I'm really excited. I ate half, a little more than half, I don't know. <laughs> so I have been putting off calling a weight loss doctor for months now. I hate calling to make appointments. I just hate talking on the phone in general, especially when it comes to something like this. And it just gives me a lot of anxiety. It makes me overwhelmed and nervous, but I don't know what came over me. I just did it. I um, called a weight loss place that I know about and I asked them, cause I initially went into it as I want it to be non-surgical. So I asked them, what does the non-surgical program consist of? How much does it cost? Da, 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 da. So they answered my questions and for some reason something came over me and I just said, so tell me about the surgical process. How much does it cost with someone without insurance? And she ended up telling me and I said, hey, jot me down for an appointment for the surgical process. So obviously I would have to see a doctor first and all that. So I was expecting her to be like, okay, um, I'll set you an appointment and I was hoping for it to be this week, but instead she said you need to fill out paperwork first So I'm gonna send it to you. So The update is I currently have paperwork in the mail coming to me to fill out a weight loss surgery type thing And then I have to either send it back or drop it off She's getting weight loss surgery It's time to go out and walk to the tree don't mind the outfit, like, this is supposed to be Amberlynn chilling in her bed all day outfit. did it yes yes it is you doing okay. you're doing really good okay. yeah okay Woo. it's a hot mamma jamba hey you guys Hi. welcome to part two of trying japanese snacks we are american and what happened to the weight loss surgery? We love the Japanese culture, so we figured let's try some more snacks. No. Okay, so this is kind of like an experiment that we're gonna do together. So there is no skin on these cucumbers, okay? Because for me, the skin makes the cucumber taste gross. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it, obviously. It's just gonna look like that. All right, let's try it. 
I'm really nervous because this is so random. It's like a little cucumber boat. Mm hmm It tastes like... Ooh. Hold on. What ties it all together is the bacon. Amber saw a psychiatrist and in one short visit was given confirmation of her many diagnoses. So as for the appointment, I think I'm a little numb with what went down. In the appointment, I don't think I've ever been asked so many questions in my life. So without going into great detail, I'm just going to let you know what the heck went down regarding like diagnosing because that has just been a big hot topic. I have finally went and saw someone. So the first thing is I have really bad memory loss from traumatic events that happened in my childhood. Obviously I was diagnosed with depression. That is a given. I mean, I've been known, I've known since I was nine years old. That is when I was first diagnosed with depression. I was diagnosed with anxiety slash panic disorder, obviously. So this next one, well, these next two for me are ones that it's just like, they kind of hit me harder because like I knew the other ones like were obvious. I was diagnosed with obsessive compulsive personality disorder. The next one for me is I am bipolar. I feel relieved that I now have, you know, answers to my questions. Amber finally saw her weight loss doctor. Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you about the weight loss doctor, the program, kind of like how I'm feeling, what I'm doing after the high and the newness of it kind of has worn off. So for some reason I thought, all of it was out the window. My fear for change was gone and I was gonna do whatever this doctor told me to do. So I was going in super optimistic through the whole situation. And you know, when you're on a high and you don't sleep on it, you kind of act kind of manic, or at least for me, I do. You know, I am bipolar. So it was a little bit of a manic situation. I was like, yeah, let's do this thing no matter what he tells me to do. The day was over halfway over. And normally I won't, I don't really like eating breakfast. You guys know this about me. So my day was kind of off kilter already because he wanted me to eat breakfast. So I was just following plan and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do something he told me not to do. I decided to go on my fitness pal and I decided to log my food on there. Right. So before anyone clocks me and they're like in the comments and they're saying, well, you eat, you know, tons of sodium on the daily basis anyways, you guys, I am trying my hardest to find a sustainable, doable, healthy, nutritious, not malnourished type of lifestyle. She quit in half a day. Vacation time. So we're currently in the elevator floor nine not very happy about that i'm kind of scared of heights but got all our stuff my duffel bag broke so i'm not very happy about that oh my god night four that's scary this sounds like fun already come on big bertha this is heavy <laughs> Y'all, I'm laying on the motherfucking bed. But yeah, I'm just chilling on the bed. Like, girl, <laughs> we just ordered food. Becky's getting pasta from a place called Pasta Garage. And I'm getting my Mediterranean food. It's like a chicken kebab and there's going to be veggies. I am so excited. There's going to be rice. I am starved. Vacation day two. A trip to Target. <laughs> Going down. 
All right, you guys, we are on our way to Target. We went a few places and we went and we got some food. And I'm really excited for you guys to see my what I ate on vacation video because I did a little bucket list action. Fall was sad and Amber monetized her threats of self-harm and told us that she was leaving YouTube. There's just nothing I can do. There's literally nothing more I can do. I have opened up my life. I have shared my life. I have been raw, I've been honest, and I've been here. I have been here. I have days where I didn't even want to breathe. I've been on this channel. I have filmed, I've edited, I have uploaded, and I have been here. None of it matters. I understand, like I said in the beginning of this, like a big portion of it, I wouldn't say a big, but there is a chunk of it that is my fault because like, I can't stick to a, I can't stick to a diet. Um, I've had mistakes in the past, but it's like, I don't know if I deserve the actual like, hardcore, vile, and cruel comments. Maybe I do deserve them. I'm just really hurting and I just need to take a step back and I cannot take a step back while filming, uploading. I can't do it. I need to take a break. I need to take the advice that I have been given and I need to do this for me and I'm scared to take a break because I don't want to become irrelevant I don't I don't want any of that like I don't want people to forget about me but it's like I want the wrong people to forget about me if that makes sense hey guys uh, I'm sure a lot of you are confused right now. I'm sure you guys didn't expect a video from me. Maybe some of you did. So yesterday I uploaded a video about me leaving YouTube. So since I filmed that video, it's been almost two weeks and I've had a lot of time to reflect and I still felt very headstrong in taking a YouTube break. But as soon as my video yesterday went live, I received hundreds and hundreds of DMs. My video has only been live for almost four hours and my DMs are filled with love. A few eat with me's, a few Walmart hauls. Good thing she came back. So it's 819. I have a heating pad on my lap to help. Um, I took my temperature again. 99.9 it's supposed to snow tonight but i think if my temperature sorry for all the pills on my blanket but um if my temperature gets to 102 i think i'm gonna have to go to the er i'm at the hospital look how dry my lips are so we've been back home for about nine hours now and i slept um i'm not really gonna talk about my diagnosis um let's just say I'm gonna heal with medicine, hopefully. So I know a lot of people were frustrated that I didn't give a diagnosis in my video. And for me, I just felt like there was no reason for it. There are a lot of people who watch me who use my health against me. I wouldn't say I'm ashamed because it's nothing to do with my weight. And a lot of people thought it was a kidney infection. No, it's not a kidney infection, which actually kind of surprised me because I thought I had one but I don't anyways yeah it's just I don't want people to use this against me I don't want people to make fun of me about it like it's something I'm going through and it could very well be deadly so I have to take care of myself this didn't age well it's time for Lynn Miss. Hey 
Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Very quickly and edit this like snap, snap, snap. I'm sure none of you care about this. That's not true. There are people who like seeing my jewelry. I see your comments. I see. She is consistent. Yes, if nothing else, she is definitely consistent. Well, thank you again for spending your Friday night with me. If you're interested in more and darker content, please check out my Patreon. Or if you'd just like to support the channel, grab a membership. I will see you tomorrow at our live stream at 5.30 and until we meet again, be kind and hasta luego.